Happy Thanksgiving, Daily Dosers. I don't know how many of you in the midst of your Thanksgiving day are actually clicking on this, but we're going to do a special little Thanksgiving Daily Dose just for you. I'm shooting this ahead of time uh, because today I'm actually in Oklahoma. I took my family out there with all of our extended family and siblings and mom and dad, and we are celebrating Thanksgiving and my parents' 50th wedding anniversary all in one big hoorah. And I hope with my family I stop and we do the Daily Dose, even though it's me. Kind of odd. I'm with you. Here we go. Thanksgiving. Luke chapter 17, verse 11. Bear with me in my raspy voice a short few verses, hopefully to get your Thanksgiving or to keep your Thanksgiving heading in the right direction. It reads like this. Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. And as he was going into a village, Ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and they called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go show yourself to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. Now one of them, when he saw that he was healed, he came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and he thanked him. And that guy was a Samaritan. Now Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Um, by far. I know I say a lot of times, this is my favorite story or this is my favorite passage. I will promise you this. This is by far my favorite Thanksgiving story of all time. Jesus is walking on the border between Samaria and Galilee, and I love that. I love the race card is played in this. I love that there is absolutely no difference between Jews and non-Jews. There's an equality for all men, all women, and that Jesus isn't afraid to walk that border. And while he's there, 10 men with leprosy. They would have been together because they probably would have lived together. Leprosy then, as it is today, although it's rarely found, is such a dangerous disease and so easily spread. And at this time, in the first century, it was a certain death sentence. It would have been a slow, agonizing death over the period of years, probably decades. But because it was so transferable, you lived in a colony. You lived outside the community. You lost all touch with love and relationship for Thanksgiving you had only those that were diseased to sit with and not much to be thankful for. But 10 men probably all lived together. 10 men who heard about Jesus and who he was came up and in a loud voice, Jesus, master, have pity on us. I just love stopping to think, what does it get me to play my master card? How far do you have to go before you cry out and play your, your master card, if you will? And these guys were at the end of the rope, and they called out. Now, it's interesting. Jesus didn't look at their faith, do anything about their faith. He sent them in motion. You go show yourself to the priest. You, you see, under the law that they were in in the first century, if you had a disease, you had to go show yourself to the priest to show them the disease is gone so you could be allowed back in the community. So even though they had leprosy, they started walking, making their way to the priest. And why they were walking, the miracle happened. Nine guys, I'm sure, ran off. I don't know if they ran off to the priest. My bet is they will eventually get around to him, but they ran home. They ran home to people they haven't seen in a long time. They ran to loved ones. They ran to those that they couldn't hug. They couldn't throw their arms around. And nine ran, and one stopped and ran the other way. One ran back to the source of his healing. One ran back to the one that made him clean. And before he got to the rest of his agenda on this Thanksgiving holiday, he thanked the one who made him new. And Jesus' answer, where's the other nine? Weren't the other nine healed? Now, of course, Jesus knows that they were. And those other nine, I promise you, they were grateful. They were thankful. They were appreciative. They will tell this story forever. But they didn't take time to come back and tell it to Jesus himself. Hey, on this Thanksgiving, Daily Dosers, wherever you are, whatever family gathering, may you stop and not tell each other what you're thankful for. May you stop and tell God what you're thankful for. First Thessalonians 5 said, It is God's will that we give thanks and all things. You want to find God's will today in the midst of who you are and who you're with. Go to him and give thanks.